Hi, I am Al Simon Asby. My friend is Leonardo Osden. Our lesson is about arithmetic coding. So what is arithmetic coding? Where this type of coding applied in communication system? How to do this coding? Arithmetic coding is a data compression technique which works in a recursive way meaning that it encodes or decodes one data per iteration. So this technique works between 0 and 1. Line called tag and generates variable length code. Here are some technical equations used in arithmetic coding. The 0 stands for the lower limit. The 1 stands for the upper limit. Where n is the length of a sequence, and x is the sequence. For example, if we have a sequence s equals 6, 7, 8, then, x1 equals 6, n equals 1, x2 equals 7, n equals 2, x3 equals 8, n equals 3, 2. Find the tag value, tx equals ln plus un divided by 2. Now let's see before giving a real example on coding algorithm. Let's see for what do we use. Arithmetic coding in communication system. We use it in image compression, audio compression, video compression standards. Now, we will see an example about coding. Let's start by the coding technique. These are the given probabilities for each symbol. PA equals to 0 0.5, PB equals to 0 0.25, and PC equals to 0 0.25. Let's start by coding the first symbol, which is B. So, first of all, you should draw the line that has a tag from 0 to 1. The first probability is 0 0.5. So, 0 0.5, you should locate it on this interval of uh, this line interval. So 0 plus 0 0.5 is 0 0.5, and this is the range of A. PB is 0 0.25, so if we add 0 0.25 with 0 0.5, it will give us 0 0.75, and its location on the interval line is here. So this is the interval where B is located, and C is located here. The first symbol is B, so we should take a lower limit and an upper limit. Our new interval line will be between 0 0.5 and 0 0.75. So actually we have a distance which is 0. 75 minus 0 0.5 which is 0 0.25 so uh, we should locate each probability according to this uh, distance so PA will be 0 0.25 times 0 0.5 PB will be 0 0.25 times 0. 25 because the probability of B is 0 0.25 so the first interval will give us 0 0.125 and the second one will be 0 0.0625 so this will we will locate this on the interval line so we add on it 0 0.5 so we can locate A on this line it will give us 0 0.625 so we'll put, put 0 0.625 here and this is the region where A is located we will add to locate B we will add 0 0.0625 with 0 0.625 and this will give us 
0 0.6875. So B is located here. This is the interval where B is located and C is located here. So we found the interval for B and A. Now we will find for A. This is the lower limit of A and this is the upper limit. Our new interval line will be between 0 0.5 and 0.625 so as we said uh, the new now we will start by the second symbol which is a we will take the lower limit and the upper limit the difference between the upper limit and the lower limit is 0 0.625 minus 0 0.5 which is 0. 1, 2, 5. So the first probability PA is 0 0.125 times 0 0.5 because uh, to find the interval it will be 0 0.0625 and we should add on it this 0 0.5 to know where is its location on the line? So it will be located here. For the second probability, we have 0 0.125 times 0 0.25. And this is 0 0.03125. And we should add on it this number to see where is its location here. And this should give us 0 0.59375. And the location is here. So A is here, B and C. Now we will take the next symbol and it is C. So we should take the lower limit, as we said, and the upper limit. So our upper limit will have 0 0.625 and the lower limit is 0 0.59. Three seven five. I won't repeat the calculation because we already did it two times. So A will be located here, and B will located be located here, and the numbers will be zero point six zero nine three seven five. B will have and our last interval will be zero point six one seven one eight seven five. So we conclude that our finalized code word for the symbol B A C A will be 0 0.59375.